So we will have a look at distributed intrusion detection system and many parts. So what are distributed intrusion detection systems? These are the most effective uh, defense systems which can be achieved by coordination and cooperation among the network system which we call it as network intrusion detection systems rather than uh, doing intrusions on standalone systems. That means you have a LAN which is interconnection of several machines or nodes. The all to put together will be utilized to detect the intrusions in the network. There are major issues in the design of any distributed intrusion detection system. For example, the audio record formats may be different in different machines of the network. And the second issue is one or more nodes in the network will be considered as a collection point of all the data from the nodes on the network. So it means that you need to assure the integrity and confidentiality of this raw data sent across nodes so that intruder cannot use drop into this raw data. Here the integrity is basically required to prevent the intruder from masking his or her activities by altering the transmitted audit information that is audit record information. And the second one is confidentiality is very much required because the transmitted audit record information could be valuable. If it gets into the hands of intruders, then they may try to do malicious activities. Then the third uh, design issue is what kind of architecture to be used, either centralized or decentralized. With the centralized architecture, Normally, there will be single point of collection, there will be one center, central machine which collects all the data, audit data and using that audit data from different machines, correlation is made and then you know decision is taken. But this will lead to single point of failure that is if this single machine fails then whole intrusion detection system fails. Then the other one is decentralized architecture where there are more than one analysis centers rather than only one machine but these machines which are acting as the points of collection and analysis must coordinate among themselves their activities and exchange the information to arrive at the intrusions. So this is an example of a distributed intrusion detection system which was developed by uh, University of California Davis. You look at the diagram there, the architecture comprises of central one, a manager, LAN monitor, host and there is an agent model within the host as well as agent model within the LAN monitor and there is a manager model within the central manager and there is a router connecting the central manager to a LAN through the wide area network that is WAN. So let's briefly explain about the different modules here in this architecture, distributed intrusion detection architecture. There are three major elements, host agent, LAN monitor agent and central manager. So let's look at the host agent. Host agent is basically an audit collection module that is all the audit records are collected in that machine. and it is a background process which runs in a machine which is to be monitored by the central manager to collect the information for intrusion detection. And this host agent collects the data on security related events on the host and transmits the you know this kind of information to the central manager. Then you have a LAN, a LAN monitor agent which basically analyzes the LAN traffic that is the local area network traffic and reports the results to the central manager about the traffic in that particular network. Then you have a central manager which receives the reports from the agent module from the host, agent module from the LAN monitor and processes that information that is nothing but audit records and correlates these reports to detect the intrusions. So this is how all three models to put together interact and work to 
decide on intrusion detections. Let's, be, uh, let's look uh, more details of uh, agent architecture how it works. Look at the diagram there. You have the operating system audit information that is you know is a native audit collection system. The agent captures all these audit records from the native uh, records and then this is given to the filter where the filter job is to reformat the content into standardized format which we refer to as host audit record HAR. and this host audit record is given to the logic which utilizes the template driven logic and analyzes the records for suspicion activity basically like notable activities signatures or any noteworthy sessions when the agent scans for notable events that are of interest dependent on which are independent of any past events so the examples of such notable events could be failed file accesses accessing system files and changing files access controls so these are all examples where an intruder tries to enter into any user account and does this malicious activities so these kind of notable events are checked using the template driven logic then agent also looks for sequences of events such as known attack patterns that is the signatures of the attack then once these are all noted then it is given to the agent protocol machine where it looks for anomalous behavior of an individual user based on the stored historic profile of a user such as number of programs executed or the number of files accessed etc or number of commands executed so all kinds of history of the user is stored there and that is compared with this uh, activity and if any violation is there then they are called as intruders so if intrusion is detected then alert is sent to the central manager that there is some suspicion activity happening in the network so that's about the distributed intrusion detection system which is an example uh, from University of California Davis now let's look briefly at the honeypot this is another kind of mechanism in a network to uh, find out the intrusion detections so these are basically decoy systems which are almost similar to the critical systems and they are designed to lure a potential attacker away from the critical systems means these uh, decoy systems attract the intruders to access it and then uh, the system studies the behavior pattern of those intruders the honeypots basically divert an attacker from accessing critical systems they collect information about the attacker's activity they encourage the attacker to stay on the system long enough for administrators to respond these honeypots are normally filled with the fabricated information which are valuable which are designed to appear valuable but that a legitimate user of the system could not access and anybody trying to access any any pot is a suspect this decoy system is instrumented with sensitive monitors and event loggers that detect the accesses into it and collect information about the attacker's activities so any attack that happens on any pot is made to seem successful and administrators have time to mobilize and log and track the attacker without ever exposing productive systems initial efforts involved a single honeypot computer with ip addresses designed to attract hackers but this kind of concept on a single um, computer can be extended further to the network so the recent research has focused on building entire honeypot network that emulate an enterprise possibly with actual or simulated traffic and data once hackers are within the network administrators can observe their behavior in detail and figure out 
what kind of defense mechanism has to be developed to tackle this kind of hackers so that is a little bit of discussion on any parts so that completes uh, you know overview of distributed intrusion detection systems after having gone through this video test your outcomes by answering these following questions what is meant by distributed ideas list the design issues in the ideas explain the working of the ideas with an example how does an agent work in the ideas in the given example explain the concept of honeypot networks